Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up HD texture packs in PCSX to emulator for Windows PC. So if you're not aware of what HD texture packs are, they're little packs that we can add into particular emulators such as PCSX2 today in order to enhance our games to really bring textures out. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this in this setup guide as well as applying video settings to really boost up those textures. So check this one out. <laughs> Before I start today's PCSX and set up HD texture packs, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. It means you get notified every time I release a setup guide and it also helps my channel out a great deal. So we're looking at adding HD texture packs to PCSX2 today. In other words, this is going to make some of your PlayStation 2 games look absolutely awesome. And this is very simple to do. So what we're going to do first is actually go over to this website. And I'm going to leave the link in my description for this. Now, you'll likely find other texture packs dotted around over the internet. But for this example, I'm going to be using GBA Temp. So you can just take a look through here. And this is a list of completed HD texture projects. So plenty of there to choose from. Plus, we also got work in progress HD texture projects. So what I'm going to do is show you an example of two games. So I've got God of War and this is the NTSC version. Now to download this, all we need to do is just go to the link. And if we just scroll down, you can then find the download link just here. So obviously you can download these texture packs using media fire. And that's all there is to it. Now, one thing I'm going to mention is that this is going to be region specific. So if you've got a PAL game, then you use a PAL HD texture pack. If you've got NTSC game, then obviously look for an NTSC HD texture pack. So I've already downloaded these and here's my two texture packs. So you're going to notice that they've got codes on. Okay, so we got Call of Duty 3. And if we take a look at the codes just there, it says LS US dash 21426 so i've got the correct texture pack for this because the archive just here says 21426 and i've got god of war 2 and that's scus 97481 and so this archive hd texture pack that i downloaded is also the correct one because the codes are the same so what we need to do then is actually extract these texture packs so i'm going to start off with god of war 2 which is this one just here if i just open this and just extract the folder okay so as a comparison i'm going to open up Call of duty 3 Okay, so this is Call of Duty 3, and this game is at default settings. The only thing I've got enabled is widescreen hack. Okay then, so next thing we need to do is actually create a folder. So I suggest using your PCSX2 directory to do this. And what I'm gonna do inside of mine is right click, new folder. And I'm just gonna call this HD texture packs. And in this folder, I'm gonna just drag in those texture packs. And that's it. And then from here, we can then open up PCSX2 again. And what I'm going to do next then to actually apply my HD texture pack is just go to the settings, graphics, and over on texture replacement, under search directory, PCSX2 will dump in load texture replacements from this directory. I need to link this up to my HD texture packs directory. So if your PCSX2 is on your desktop, I'm using the portable version obviously, we're just going to look and search for the folder and then you can simply find that HD texture packs folder there, which I've created. And inside of there, it's going to be your HD texture packs. So I'm going to select that folder. And in order to use them, I'm going to go to load textures. And if you really want the definitive experience of really exploiting those HD texture packs and bringing out as much detail as possible, 
it's always useful going to rendering internal resolution and bumping this up as far as you can and i also recommend bumping up anastrophic filtering too so i'm going to check out four times and if i open up the game again so there's a massive difference and of course the more we increase those video settings or internal resolution and anastrophic filtering the better your textures are going to be and if i then bump up the settings for call of duty 3 once again so down to graphics and anastrophic filtering i'm going to boost this up to eight times and just remember when you're boosting up video settings it's about increments just to find your computer's good point of where it can support and if i open up the game again And as we can see, by applying eight times anastrophic filtering and actually increasing the internal resolution again, the rifle I'm holding looks much more defined. There's more texture in it. And then under graphics, I'm just going to go back to rendering and I'm going to boost anastrophic filtering up to 16 times. So just remember, if you've got a lower end computer, it's unlikely it's going to run at these type of settings. And once again, with anastrophic filtering boosted up to 16 times, the definition is showing even more. Those textures are a lot more visible. And if you take a look at the hub just there, which I've been throwing grenades at, you can see there's a lot of textures in the wood itself. So once you've got lots of video settings in PCSX2 to apply to make these textures look better, but as you can see, just by using internal resolution anastrophic filtering, it's really bringing those textures out. And if I go back to default settings and take away HD textures, so remember to take away HD texture packs. You're just going to go to texture replacement. I'm going to just go to reset, just to get rid of it altogether. And uncheck load textures. If I open up the game again, so back into the game without HD texture pack. If we take a look at the hut again, even the rifle, there's not much texture going on. So as we can see, the comparison is for definite is the hut. The wood isn't so defined and it's not so detailed and the rifle is uh, much more clear to look at and more definition, more texture in there. And that's it for today's PCSX2 added HD texture pack setup guide. So like I say, there's likely more HD texture packs out there on the World Wide Web. That's just one example, which I'm going to leave in my description so you can check this out yourself. Just remember, it is region specific. And if you use the wrong regions, then you're not going to get HD textures at all in your PlayStation 2 games. Anyways, do check out my enhancement guides in my playlist for emulators and also be sure to check out my front end setup guides also check me out on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok and don't forget to subscribe and hit notifications so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guides until next time stay retro